Catch up and get ahead with the edge for the week of July 4th. The San Antonio Metropolitan Health District issued a level two heat advisory this week indicating a sustained heat index greater than or equal to 108 degrees Fahrenheit or air temperature greater than or equal to 103 degrees Fahrenheit. At Nowcast SA, we've got a map of cooling stations, places that are free and open to the public so anyone can find relief from the heat. This is when our public libraries become a big part of the community safety net. The cooling stations include Central Library, 25 branch libraries, community centers, and senior centers. Seniors living in homes without air conditioning or circulating air face a greater risk of heat-related injuries and fatalities during the summer. Besides the free cooling station, any senior is eligible to receive a free box fan free of charge just by calling 211. And you can help. Use our map at Nowcast SA to find the nearest fire station where you can donate a fan or make a donation to Project Cool. What does San Antonio's new anti-idling ordinance mean? Well, enforcing the new rule could contribute to a 20 to 25 percent cut in ozone and mean easier breathing for everyone. Ozone oxidizes epithelial cells in the lungs, causing damage that some sensitive people, children and seniors for instance, take longer to recover from. Along with the anti-idling ordinance, the City Council approved a ban on coal tar sealants in pavement products, setting a citywide standard to improve the quality of the air and the water. Check out our story for more details on enforcement, penalties, and some exceptions to the rule. Your neighbors continue to speak out about the Brackenridge Park draft master plan. Here is Graciela Sanchez of Esperanza Peace and Justice Center. I love the idea that you talk about restoring, preserving, and protecting. And what I hope you restore, pre preserve, and protect is the Mexican-American and working class people that use this park. And here is C former Councilwoman Maria Beriazabal. Uh, you mentioned the five um, strategies, um, and, and they're fine, but nowhere does it say who, are, who the users are. Usually, you investigate who goes there, who uses it, and do you want to keep them there? Because very frankly, when I tell people what's happening, summarize what I know to be the plan, what they tell me, many of them, nos están echando, señora. They're kicking us out. There are two more public meetings to discuss the draft plan on July 7th and July 13th. Now Cast SA would like to be there with our cameras, but as a 501c3 nonprofit, we rely on your support for coverage like this. Head to nowcastsa.com slash donate now to make a tax-deductible contribution. This year's Pride Festival and Parade was full of energy and passion, along with respect and tributes to the shooting victims at Orlando's Pulse nightclub. Go to Nowcast SA to see how we collected your social media photos and images together for one big story and see a slideshow of images by wonderful photographer Antonia Padilla. Thanks for watching The Edge. See you next time.